and welcome back to Super Metroid. Last time we killed Kraid, uh, got the wave beam, and we got the uh, speed booster. And opened up a lot of stuff that we can do in uh, in Norfair. Alright, we also got the, the various suit, which lets us exist in Norfair. Because without this, we'd already be dead. Also, I just have a question. What's up with all these bubbles? Like, this is the lava zone. Why is there so many bubbles? I thought I was playing Metroid, not Bubble Bobble. Uh, what's over here? Oh, that's a lot of health. Uh, one of those weird guys. Hey, look, two-way door that's now, uh, or one-way door that's now a two-way door. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, this is the way I have to go. Okay, so I cannot kill these these uh greenish grayish kind of things. I don't know what they are. They look like crabs? Ball crabs? Head crabs? Uh what's over here? This is like a a energy retreasure room, but I don't remember what's on over here to the right. Ah, okay, cool. Something I need to grab the beam for. Right, so I could go down, but I just want to remind myself of my options. Uh, that's a save room that I'm not going to use right now. What is this? That connects back to the beginning. Um. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down over here, do this entire little bottom part. I'm going to pop back up, go through here, and go to where this connects back to where I first came here from. And then when I get that, since I have the speed booster, I can just go over there, grab the ice beam that's on the top left. I'm pretty sure that's the ice beam. And then after that, I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to pop back over to where I last saved, over there where the S is yellow. Because I can use the grapple beam now to uh, get whatever whatever's in that room. And I'll be done with Norfair. Unless something else that I've forgotten pops up. But I think that's it. Anyway, there's this guy. I'm just shooting in his mouth. Looks solid. <laughs> he does like a little scuttle thing. Ah, oh, crap. I think it's easier just to just use missiles. Basically, all you want to do is just push him away from from you and just want to keep shooting missiles into his mouth until he is fully off of the platform that we're on right now. So like sumo wrestling with aliens? It's all weird too, like look at look at his back. Like he's got like dripping and whatnot. Like it looks like his skin is sagging. Stop scuttling forward, my guy. You're gonna die. Stop trying to fight it. My god. He surely is fighting. I think this is like the most he's ever fought me on this. God, what are you? Are you some kind of lizard? He kind of reminds me of Kraid. But like he doesn't share enough similarities of of Kraid to like make me think for sure for sure that he's related to Kraid. I'm gonna i I'm gonna just start using charged beams. Because I'm running out of missiles. We're getting close. We want him completely on those red blocks right there. I think he's dead now. Nope. 
One more. Yep, there it is. Now he's down. Look at him. He's trying to escape. He's boiling alive. Excruciating pain. His skin's melting off. This is graphic. This is a kid's video game. Anyway, no, now there's bubbles. We're gonna funnel the bubbles over here. Bubble, 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 bubble. Uh oh. Look at these spike walls. I wonder what's gonna happen. Is he gonna pop out? I wonder if he's gonna pop out. I wonder if he's gonna pop out. Oh god, it's him! Oh, it's just the skeleton. That's weird. Like, my god. Video game developers, are you trying to give kids nightmares? Because that's how you do it. Look at him. You've shot him off a bridge and now he's boiling alive. He's he's holding on to dear life while you just watch. Doing nothing. And I'm like, wow. That's... I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of fucked up. But anyway, we gotta keep moving on because, uh... Exploring. Also, I have no idea... Oh, yes, I do have an idea. Alright. I was gonna say, I have no idea how exactly I'm supposed to do that jump so I can make it to this side. But I did it. Power bombs. I like how every time we get an item, it just gotta, it's gotta give us a tutorial of how to use it. <sighs> so I'm, I'm a bit tired. Even though it's like, I don't know, like 12 o'clock where I'm at right now. Not even like midnight, 12 o'clock. It's legit just like noon. Uh, I don't remember what this is. <laughs> that's, that's just like basically the entire playthrough. is just like, huh? well, I don't remember what this is. But I'm going to go here anyway. Okay, I remember, I remember what this is though. Didn't take me f that long to figure it out again. It's just missiles. Wah, 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 wah. Soup Metroid. We got missiles. We're right here. We've got missiles galore. Many places to explore. It's a Super Metroid place after all. Uh, power bomb here. Alright. I think over here. Yep. With the uh with the speed booster, if we can like store up energy, so now so so now the the, the bu, 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 bu. with the super with the speed booster you can save up uh your energy when you're uh, flashing blue and whatnot. And if you crouch while you're flashing blue, you get like this thing, which I'm pretty sure they call a shine spark, which uh, lets you fly in like eight directions. So um, right there, if you crouch and then jump straight up, you could find uh, hidden missiles. But what you're supposed to do is just run with a super booster until you get enough momentum to just shoot you across the, the room and get the grapple beam. Which lets us grapple onto anything that has a plus sign right here. And it's also not that fun to use because if you fuck up, it's incredibly frustrating. Okay, I feel. Uh, hello? Hold up. Hold up. I had it. I had it. Why did I switch off of it? I still have to use it. Uh, okay, this is a super missile door, so we need to use a super missile. And that's everything in this little area. But yeah, I'm gonna save. I was, I was questioning why I was saving, but then I looked at my health and I was like, oh yeah, I might die. 
I don't have like tons of E tanks, but I usually have when I play this game on my own time. Because I'm still in, I'm still relatively just starting. Even though it's been probably an hour since I started this. Anyway, now we can use the grapple beam over here to um, get all that stuff. Or we can be cool and just speed booster off the edge. Take some damage in the process, but it's whatever. But now on the way back, yeah, it's probably best that you use the grapple beam. Alright, and with the grapple beam, I could head back up and get that little dot right there that I haven't gotten. I'm gonna go up and do that. But first, I also have to go over here to the right. As I said beforehand. Ow. Frick. Um, I don't think... Right, yeah, this is not something I wanted to do. But I think it works out anyway. So this is where Ridley is, but I don't have... I mean, I could fight him right now. But I'm not strong enough to actually get to him. Because before you get to fight Ridley, you basically have to go through like another one of these areas. So like it's filled with strong enemies and stuff, you know, that I'm just, I'm just not very prepared for right now. Plus, I think just being in there, I would start burning up. Because um, it's like deeper in like the world or the planet so like his lava is a lot hotter also I don't know if can I do this hold up okay I didn't mean to do that but hey this might work for momentum nope okay I fucked it up Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can do, totally do that. The grapple beam kills those guys? Alright. Hey, oh. Oh, God. Oh. Taking damage doesn't knock me off. Alright, cool. Grapple. Or not grapple beam. Missile. I'm pretty sure there's something in here. But I do know. I'm pretty sure that's not the best way of going about that, but um whatever, it worked. I think all of this is for a reserve tank. Uh, which is kind of worth it. My god, but there's just so many enemies here. Just give me the reserve tank. Na, 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 na. So re reserve tanks are, is they're E tanks that aren't like, oh, there, there it is. That, this is what I was thinking of. All right, reserve tanks are E tanks that um, fill up only when you're on full health and like take in energy. So they basically just stored unused energy until you are at zero energy on your normal E tanks. So when you're all out of your normal E-Tanks, your reserve tanks kick in. And they save your life, basically. And they are quite useful. Okay. Uh, so what's next on the chopping block? Well, now that I have the speed booster, I can... What is it, here? No, it's down here. Can 
go here. Check real quick. Alright, just to double check. Go over here, open this door. And it's just basically this long hallway that you can speed boost into. Into the save room and right next to where the entrance to North is. And it's very, very useful. And is this power bombs or okay, no just normal bombs. I can check out whatever what what's ever what's ever in the in this thing. No, I cannot. I had to go back. God dang it. Uh it's for missiles. Do I really want to go back for that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I really want to actually. Whoop. Although, is there any alternate exit out of Norfer? No. Oh, wait a minute. If I do the ice beam thing, I could go back near there and, you know, be a lot more convenient for me. Wait. Uh. Alright, yeah. Alright. New route is 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 a uh, is planned out. I just have to follow it. I right, saw so all these faces. They shoot out like little ice things. I don't know. And over here. Is the ice beam, which is required to beat the game. All the other beams that we've gotten so far aren't really required, except the charge beam, I think. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, ice beam, take off the wave and spacer, and the ice beam. I pressed the wrong button. The ice beam super ability is a little barrier of ice, which is nice. I don't know how well it works. Like, I don't know if you can just jump into enemies and, uh, and whoa. Oh. I don't know if you can just jump into enemies and they immediately get killed or whatever. But I do know that the ice beam is handy because it freezes enemies. And you can use the enemies when they're frozen. When you freeze enemies, you can use them as platforms. But I do usually have the ice beam turned off because it just acts like as as like another hit I have to get on an enemy to kill him because when with when you have the ice beam equipped you have to do enough damage to kill the enemy and then after that the enemy gets frozen and uh, it basically requires you to shoot him once more than you have to like this like, this little weak enemy should die immediately, but because I have the ice beam, he's frozen now. So I usually just turn it off. But I'm not gonna lie. I do like how the blue lasers look like. But I'm gonna turn it off. Because it just gets in the way sometimes. Give me this. Alright. Whatever this is for. Alright, now we're back over here. Which means... Wait, what did I want? Oh yeah, that means that we can go up and get the missiles. And uh, be on our way from Norfair. Got him. Wah, 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 wah. And now we're back here and we're ready to leave Norfair for once and not for all. 
Because we're going to come back here to fight Ridley. But before I end this video, I do want to go back and get some upgrades that we can get now that we have uh, more upgrades. So first off, what are we going to be heading to? Because I know where they are, I just need to plan out the most efficient route. Alright, so that big blue area we're going to finish off. Um, we're going to go... Okay, basically everything blue except for that little like bar right there that's disconnected from the rest of the map we're going to go. I actually do not know how to get into that little hallway thing. Like, in none of my playthroughs. I think maybe one I did, but it was on accident. And I, I just didn't remember how to get in there. So, um... Unless I figure out how to get in there, I probably just won't. Actually, I'm going to turn the ice beam back on because it can freeze these guys, and these guys are just annoying. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm stuck. Okay, wait, hold up. Okay, freeze that guy again. Alright, I'm back. Platforms. What the? I shot you. Yes, beam. Why didn't you freeze? Oh, yeah, with the ice beam, I don't kill these guys, and they don't do any damage to me. I guess it's a win-win. Ow. Ow. Alright, but they do get in the way. Dang it. Oh, uh, Jesus. What's over here? I don't remember. Probably a reserve tank. Probably a reserve tank. Oh, wait, no, it's the x-ray beam. Yeah, it, it basically just, like, makes you stand still and shows you what really is going on. So now we can just go in here. Boom. And it just, it just shows you secrets. Which, is there secrets over here? Nope, there's just spikes. Okay. Can I grapple back onto the ceiling? Yes, I can. Alright, cool. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Don't screw up. Please don't. There's spikes. They hurt. Oh god. I'm still taking damage from the spikes, which sucks because now that I have the high jump boots, it's harder to do precise platforming, and I am suffering for it. Alright, I'm gonna head down real quick and get the, uh, the energy refill. I screwed that up. I think I screwed this up. Alright, that should be better. Oh, jumped over him. Alright, so I just head to the left. Hey, we're back over here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I want to turn the ice beam back off. 
really going willy nilly on keeping this thing on or off. Open this up. Just kind of ignore everyone in here because they can't do enough damage to, you know, really phase me in any way. Here, more power bombs. And, interesting enough, or interestingly enough, this is connected back to where we got the Morph Ball. Which is actually where an E-Tank is that I want to get right now. It's in the ceiling somewhere, right there. With the high jump boots, we can reach that pretty easily. Tank. All right, now we got five of those. Also, I realized that the the recording is glitching out a bit. Hope that isn't too distracting and happening too often. But I'll, I'll see in editing. All right, so we still have to go to three more places before I end this video. Just a little backtracking and getting stronger. Get more upgrades. I have to stop fidgeting around with the different things. All right, well, I'll just, I'll just kill you through the wall then if you want to be annoying. Suck it. I can ignore physics and reality. Because I can shoot through walls. How do you like that? Okay, back over here. Nothing has changed really. Actually, I'm pretty sure the way to get in there is through here. That little... This thing that I was talking about. And actually, now that I think about it, I might know how to get in there. It might be the screw attack. But we don't get that until, like, the really late game. Like, to the point where we might as well be done with it. So, I don't know. Alright, open that. Wonder what's in here. If I get... Oh, E-Tank, actually. I was going to say missiles, probably. But another E-Tank does not hurt. Certainly does not hurt. Alright, we're getting, we're getting up there in power now. We still could use more super missiles. Because we only still have the initial five. But in due time, in due time. Over here, we can fall all the way down this pit. We can meet an ostrich over here. And get an energy refill, which is not what I remember getting from here. Or maybe I was thinking of the other part with like the weird little panda things. Anyway, this guy teaches you about the shine spark. But I, I messed it up. Uh, the shine spark, when you use it, it uses up energy, so... Gotta be wary of that. No, stop, 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 stop. Uh, what else is around here? Oh yeah, this stuff, this thing. Over here, near the very beginning. And, eh, screw it, I'll use the save room now. Or not now. Oh. I'll be back in a few minutes. Or in a few... Give me a minute or two. I gotta go over, go over here and get this reserve tank. Hmm. 
And if we go through this tube, we get missiles. And I'm pretty sure that's all in here, but just in case, I'm going to use the... Oh, that's not all. More missiles! Huzzah, this place is filled with secrets. Alright, and that's it. Which means we have but one more place left to visit. Actually, wait, no. There's a hole in the ceiling. Right? I'm not, I'm not dreaming that. There's a hole in the ceiling. Oh, I missed it. But yes, there is a there's a hole in the ceiling that allows easy access, and I'm using I'm using the grapple beam to shoot. To more super missiles. Hey, due time has been spent or paid. I don't know what this term is, but now we get to go over here. And Jesus Christ, that's a lot of upgrades. That's three missile canisters, a reserve tank, and super missiles in that room. Which is outrageous. Right. And the last thing I have to do is go down here and use some super missiles. Or, super, or power bombs. Over here, jump over that. Wah, 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 wah. Because if I show you right now, there's a hole there. More super missiles, by the way. So that brings our total up to 20 super missiles, which, yeah, a lot more than what we had previously. So it's a good thing. To come back here once you've uh, gotten everything in Norfair because it is most definitely worth it. In the save room, okay. I'm just gonna try to ignore everyone here, but that's kind of hard since uh. They're everywhere. Jesus Christ. Please, stop lashing on me. <laughs> Alright, please, let go of me. I beg of you. Alright, look at that little... <laughs> they sing the little Metroid thing. That's adorable. Also, hold up, watch this. They're gonna wall jump. Yeah, they're great. Aw, oh. Wait. Oh, I didn't want to go over here. I right, hold up. I'll cut to when I'm back there. All right, but anyway, back over here with Koala the friends. Want to jump up here actually, because there is an upgrade to get more power bombs. <laughs> They're just kind of wall jumping in the background. Okay, that's it. I want to wait for him. Any minute now. They're getting closer. Any minute now. I'm getting closer. You guys good? You guys hadn't even started. My god, I feel dumb. I like how they're supposed to show you like moves that you didn't know you had. Alright, bye guys. I enjoyed my time here with you. They're supposed to show you moves that you didn't even knew, know that you had. 
But like, they don't show you how to do those moves, they just show you that you can do them. Like, I don't know what the manual said for this game, but unless it told you what buttons to press and how exactly to wall jump, I'm pretty sure kids were just like, well, I have no idea. Like, they're doing it, but I don't know how to do it. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. We... Actually, I'm drawing a blank at what we did. But all I know is that we got a heck ton stronger, went, did some backtracking, got some upgrades. Uh, we finished off all the upgrades in Norfair. And for the next episode, we're going to be headed to the wrecked ship. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.